So for this uh, session, I would like to share you uh, the idea how to uh, make calculation uh, if uh, we have lamina and turbulent boundary layer at one plate. So means that the, we are not, okay, because in previous uh, slide, we will, uh, I show you if the, the flow, the boundary layer is 100% lamina. And now if the 100, just now is the 100% turbulent, but you know, lamina and turbulent is occur due to the velocity. So means uh, it will have one velocity that have 50 50 condition 50 percent lamina and 50 percent turbulent so in this uh, slide uh, i would like to uh, discuss about that problem about that situation okay for example for example we have a, a flat plate and suddenly the velocity is not too fast but not too slow so it will create a lamina boundary layer here and then uh, let's say the transition is okay, very fast and then it continue with the turbulent boundary layer here. So we will have problem because we cannot uh, use the idea of turbulent because not all the situation is in turbulent. At the same time, we cannot use 100% lamina because not all of this boundary la layer is in uh, lamina boundary layer. So the idea of this is, okay, so I just uh, show you the solution because i think uh the the example of calculation because i think it is easy to understand because you could see the numbers okay so for example estimate the boundary layer thickness at the end of four meter long flat surface if the air free stream velocity is five meter per second and then predict the drag force if the surface is five meter wide okay and then we neglect the lamina boundary layer and at the same time, if the lamina boundary layer need to be accounted. Okay, so because in this case, to simplify the calculation, uh, the velocity profile for lamina and turbulent layer is not mentioned. So to simplify this calculation, so we take Blasius Isaac solution as the representative of the lamina boundary layer and 17 power law as a representative for turbulent boundary layer. Okay, first, uh, first we neglect the lamina boundary layer. So, so the when we neglect the lamina boundary layer, so we calculate the Renault number. So, rho u x over mu, we substitute all the value. So, we get it is one point two five times ten by the power of six. So, let's say it is uh, turbulent. We take the the transition is five times ten by the power of five. So, and then we assume that uh, this is a fully turbulent. So, I mean, it is okay for us to calculate uh, assuming that uh, all the boundary layers is in turbulent form. So, uh, we use the equation that we calculated previously. So, delta is 0 0.38. So, and then we substitute the value. So, we get it is around 0 0.0917 meter. So, and then the drag force is, can be calculated by using this equation. Okay, the CD is calculated by using uh, previ uh, in previous calculation by assuming that Y over delta by the power of 1 over 7. So, we'll give us 0 0.073. So, uh, we get it is equal 1.28 Newton. Okay, so we get the, the uh, delta and also the drag force. Okay, now, so this is uh, what I want to share with you. So, if uh, first... We need to understand when lamina boundary layer need to be accounted. So first, we need to determine the length of lamina boundary layer. So how to calculate the that, uh, the uh, length of lamina boundary layer? So we know we know that uh, Renault critical, which is five times ten by the power of five here, uh, is equal to rho u x over mu. So this is the equation for Renault number means we are reverse calculation this one. So we will found that the X is equal 1.6. So from uh, the value of 1.6, we found that 1.6 out of uh, four meter here is lamina boundary layer. So if we calculate the uh, percentage, we found that 1.6, it is around 40% for the whole plate. So means that this value is too large to be neglected. So normally, uh, the, the calculation is 
uh, if you uh, if the percentage is less than five so i i prefer uh, to neglect the value of uh, the value of lamina boundary layer so but sometimes in some textbooks they will tell that uh, 10 percent is quite okay if um, more than 10 percent so means you need to uh, include uh, the calculation of lamina boundary layer in your uh, calculation okay so it means that because the the length here is the length here is 1.6 so we need to calculate uh, to include the lamina boundary layer calculation in our uh, calculation here okay so what we need to do is so we go back for this one so let's say we have a boundary layer lamina boundary layer like this one so and then it changed into turbulent boundary layer okay like this one okay okay however this is the point this is the the point where the turbulent and the lamina boundary layer share a value so what is that value so that value is the boundary layer thickness because this thickness is delta okay can you get it so means at this point okay at this point the turbulent boundary layer uh, give same delta with the lamina boundary layer okay so that's why uh, the calculation start with this one so let's say because the uh, boundary layer thickness is shared okay between lamina and turbulent so we could calculate the thickness of uh, lamina boundary layer by using this equation we substitute the value the Renault number here is the Renault transition okay so it is equal to 5 times 10 by the power of 5 depend on the situation but in this situation it's okay for us to take the common value 5 times 10 uh, by the power of 5 okay so why are we take Renault transition because this is the point where lamina boundary layer change to turbulent that's why we take the value of Renault transition so and then we could get it is uh, equal to 0 0.0113 meter so and then as i said this thickness is actually shared by a uh, turbulent boundary layer so we could calc we could equalize this value 0 0.0113 meter with the equation of delta from the turbulent boundary layer so it is equal to 0 0.0113 meter here so what we could calculate from here is we could calculate the value of x because on the x is unknown so from this calculation we could find that x is equal 0 0.292 meters so 0 0.292 meters is actually what distance so it is actually the distance from here to here so what is this distance meaning for so this distance meaning because at this point okay this is not the starting point of turbulent boundary layer you must remember that the calculation or the derivation of equation of a lamina or turbulent boundary layer it starts from the condition of zero zero the y is equal to zero the delta is equal to zero but at this point okay it is not the original starting point for turbulent boundary layer it's just in the middle so we need to know what is the real starting point of the turbulent boundary layer so uh, according to uh, our previous calculation which is here so we could assume that so if we interpolate the starting point it is start at here so which is uh, 0 0.292 meter from the distance of critical numbers so this is the actually the starting point in certain textbook they will call this point as the virtual origin virtual origin of turbulent boundary layer because we cannot see the the origin the starting point because it is merged with the lamina okay but uh, this is the uh, the starting point 
of the turbulent boundary layer. So mean after that, if we want to calculate the the total or the the boundary layer thickness at the trailing edge here, so we could use uh, the equation from the turbulent boundary layer because this is the total of this one is turbulent boundary layers but but we must use x from here to here only i hope you could understand uh, what i try to uh, deliver here because we want to use 100 percent equation for turbulent boundary layer means that we need only use the length of 100 percent turbulent boundary layers we cannot use the total length because the total length is the mixing of lamina and turbulent boundary layer. Okay, so to get the total turbulent, the total length of turbulent boundary layer, so we could calculate as the total flat plate length minus the transition length, means uh, this is the transition length. So, and then we need to add with the x prime. So, means x prime is here. So, uh, we could get the value of x turbulent. So x turbulent here means the total distance of turbulent boundary layer only. So I clear this uh, writing. So I hope you could uh, understand this because uh, this, the notes is uh, uploaded in my website. So if we calculate, so the total length is 4. The uh, From the previous uh, calculation, the laminar length until the transition is 1.6 and the x prime or the uh, interpolation uh, distance of turbulent boundary layer is 0 0.292 so it makes uh, the, the total of 2.69 meters okay now if we want to calculate so we could consider it is 100 percent uh, turbulent boundary layer but we must use the x equal of uh, 2.69 meters only Okay, let's say we calculate. So, uh, if we use x turbulent, 2.69 meters, so we substitute into the Renault number here, so we get it is uh, 840,000. So, it is 8.4 times 10 by the power 5. Okay, so let's say it is uh, still uh, turbulent. So, and then we could use the equation from the 1 uh, over uh, 1 7 power law. So 0 0.38, we substitute everything. So make sure that we substitute the correct number here, not the total line. So and then we could get the delta is 0 0.0668 meter. So if you compare with the comparison, if you compare with the calculation previously, which assume 100% uh, turbulence, so you will get that the previous calculation has show 37% higher compared to the second one. So means uh it's quite uh the, the difference is quite a bit okay then we are going to calculate the drag force okay so this is a simple uh mistake always done by the students so uh because we calculate the delta here by using the turbulent boundary layer then student will use the equation for the turbulent boundary layer to calculate the fd to so the drag force that's totally weird because if you just calculating that means that you're only calculating the drag force caused by this boundary layer totally neglecting the existence of lamina boundary layers so what you need to do is you need to have a special equation because we cannot assume 100 percent turbulent boundary layer here because we have a lamina boundary layer here what we need to do is we just assume it is a total turbulent and then we need to deduct a, a certain value here that the losses that occur at this area so this uh, value is uh, critical actually because uh, this is the still uh, not still under research but uh, there is a, a method with it but this is the difficulties when you have uh, mixing uh, condition between lamina and turbulent boundary layers because to determine the the correct uh, drag force coefficient okay so uh, okay so for this one for example okay we need to calculate the drag force 
So uh, we start to estimate the value of CD. So we calculate the Renault number here. So by using the, the total length, so the total length is 4. So and then uh, we could get it is 1.25 times 10 by the power of 6. So, so and then uh, we need to use this equation. 0 0.073 uh, over Renault number by the power of 1 over 5 minus 1700 over Renault number. So you will get 0 0.00304. So we substitute into this equation, so we will get it is 0 0.08 at uh, 0 0.885 newtons. Okay, so this is the equation. So the idea of this equation, you could see that 0 0.03 is actually the CD for for the 100% turbulent, but we need to deduct with certain parameter here to to reduce the value of CD because. 40% of them is lamina. That is the spirit, the, the idea of this equation. So how this equation come from? Okay, to simplify this is you need to base on this. Uh, you need to base on this idea. So if the Renault critical is 3 times 10 by the power of 5, so you need to use this equation. So you need, if the 5 times 10 by the power of 5, so you have this one. And if 6, so you have this one. So if it's more than 6 times 10 by the power of 5, so we will have this question in the tutorial later. Okay. So and then how to get, how to know the Renault critical? So means you need to refer back to the uh, tutorial chapter 5 because I already told you a few situations where you could predict the Renault critical. So that is based, uh, that is the correlation between the lamina and, and the transition and also the fully turbulent boundary layer that we learned today.